G'day fellow Black Pillars and Ink Wheels, it's Master Yoda here and I hope you guys are all doing well. The title of today's video is called Sex Dolls, uh, Robots, OnlyFans and AI Women. Look, I, I do I, I do realise that I have made a, a video about this before, more, more so to do with sex dolls and robots, particularly sex dolls, but I just wanted to make a, an update video about it. Um, with regards to sex dolls and, and robots... Um, with the robots, I'm not sure. I believe they're still developing them. I don't know if you can, people can actually buy them. I read one report that they were $15,000 each. Wow. <laughs> that buys me a lot of hooker sex. But anyway, with regards to the... Let's just look at the sex dolls. Look, I mean... Look, I, I, I totally sympathise and empathise for lonely, sexually frustrated men. Well, I'm, I'm one myself, but although I do from time to time pay um, mature age ladies of the night for my bedroom fun look these these dolls are they're not going to work they're, they're going to be a disaster I'm sorry they are for the simple fact that they're going to have a very detrimental effect on the mental health of the men who buy them as I mentioned in other videos um, many years ago I watched a, a really good documentary about the men who buy these dolls uh, for those of you who missed it what, what it was um, they previewed about they did a, a documentary on these men who bought the dolls. One guy was from the UK, two were from the US, another guy was from Japan. Probably the most depressing thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, these guys were lonely, they were ink wells. But this, this, it's just not the answer. It really isn't. Um, and these dolls weren't cheap. I don't know what they are now, but back then, they were 6000 US dollars each. Um, and they had to be custom made. You just You just couldn't buy them off the rack. Uh, these dolls had artificial sex organs, artificial you know, anus holes, butts, breasts, you know, yeah, some pretty creepy stuff. Um, I know there's been some YouTube content creators who have who've promoted these. I think there was a guy called TFM or Turd Fling, Turd Fling Monkey. I, I don't really know much about the guy. I haven't gone on his channel. I believe he promoted that. I think even Sandman, the guy up in Canada, I think he even promoted that and a few other guys have. It's not the answer, guys. It really isn't. Um, you know, if you're really that hard up for uh, for a root, sorry, root means is a strange slang for having sex. To just pay a hooker, at least that way you're dealing with a real woman. You're interacting with a real woman. Because look, when I go see one of my favourite mature age hookers, it's not it's not just about the sex. I mean, obviously I have great sex with these ladies, but after we have sex, I have great conversations with these ladies, they're, they're, and I get along with them famously. I mean, at the end of the day, they're human beings. So these these sex dolls robots are not not the answer. Um, I also want to talk about OnlyFans and AI women. Um, but with the dolls and the robots, yeah, not not the um, not the answer. And just going back to that documentary that I saw about those men uh, who you know, all, all over the world who buy these things. Um, yeah, it was depressing. Um, the Japanese guy, God, he had thirty of them. Um, I don't know where he put them because he lived in some tiny little apartment. Um, he had 30 of them. <coughs> the English guy, I felt pretty sorry for him. Um, he was a middle-aged gentleman. Not much luck with the ladies, and um, he bought a doll, but, uh, you know, no, nah, it's, it's not the way. The two guys in the US, yeah, one was a creepy creepy dude. But with one of them, one of the American guys that bought a doll, look at a middle-aged gentleman, look, he wasn't that, no homo, he wasn't that unattractive. And he eventually did find a, a girlfriend, a real-life girlfriend. But what this idiot did when he took her to her house... He showed her the room where he had the dolls, and, and quite understandably, this woman got creeped out. Immediately creeped out and dumped him straight away. And can you blame this woman? But what an idiot. I mean, why, why didn't he get rid of them or hide them or, you know? <laughs> but why didn't he buy one in the first place? Yeah, but what, what, a, what a fool. But, but either way, yeah, this documentary was pretty depressing. As, um, yeah. And once again, look, I, I have the utmost sympathy and empathy for lonely, sexually frustrated men. I'm in the same boat, although I do pay hookers from time to time. Uh, but these dolls, robots, whatever, not the answer. Only fans, yeah, I think I made a video about that before. Look, I, I don't know. What, what's wrong with the US? What the fuck is wrong with that country? Really? It's These only fan subscribers, they're bloody pathetic. Look, don't get me wrong, I don't begrudge any man who wants to look at either scantily clad or naked women. I do all the time. Yeah, fuck, nothing wrong with that. You know, you're, you're a male... You want to look at beautiful women, hey, go for it. But why in God's name are these OnlyFans simps paying for something that can be easily accessed for free? 
It's like me paying someone $50 for a jar of oxygen because I want to breathe. If I want to breathe, I just breathe. It's free. Yeah, air is free. <laughs> you know, um, and do these OnlyFans simps, do you think they've got a chance with these girls? Like, no, no way in hell. These, these women wouldn't date these guys, you know, if their lives depended on it. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, man. I just, to me, OnlyFans just just shows how utterly pathetic the USA is. And I'm not saying that all people in America, US, are pathetic. No, absolutely not. I mean, um, a lot of Americans I've conversed with online have been great people. Um, but this this OnlyFans stuff is just—it's a joke. It really is. <coughs> you 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 give money to women for for what for nothing. You got no chance with them. If you want to pay. Woman money, get something in return, i.e. sex. Like, I mean, yeah, I give women money. I give hookers. But I get laid. I get something in return. There's an old saying that goes, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Um, with AI or artificial intelligent women, yeah, I've been reading some reports that they're developing these AI women and they're developing AI-only fans. Like, are you serious? Like, are you going to pay to talk to some computer-generated woman that's not not even a real woman i mean it's just it's just insanity it's madness we, we live in a clown world guys we really do i mean i oof, i don't know what to say firstly thank god i don't live in the u.s i mean i i feel sorry for you guys over there you know you got some crazy laws regarding prostitution and make for fuck's sake just legalize it it'll save a ton of problems and every, everybody will be a winner you know, the girls will be protected. They'll be working in safe brothels. They'll, be, they'll have health, regular health checks. You'll, get, you'll eliminate pimps, um, trafficking, all that sort of stuff. And, and the government will be able to tax it. So everybody, so everybody wins. Everyone's a winner. And, you know, sexually frustrated men will have a, have a place to, to release that, 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 that frustration. I and mean, that's why in the U.S. you have these, these, these terrible mass... Uh, mass deletions. Be careful what I say here. You, you know what I'm referring to, where, where some crazy inkwell goes postal and, and, and del- ends a lot of people. I mean, look, there's absolutely no excuse for that. Look, if you're a man and you're struggling to get dates or struggling to get laid, that does not, does not give you a license to engage in any form of violence. Absolutely not. You know, it's wrong. It's totally wrong. And, you know, you know if you can't get laid, just, just pay for it, man. Like, you know, don't, don't go on a, yeah, don't, don't hurt people. Don't, don't do that sort of stuff. That's, that's, that's just crazy and evil. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, look, I don't know what to say. It's yeah, only fans. What a, what a fucking joke. What an absolute fucking joke. We don't have it so much here in Australia. Some of the independent hookers offer it. And some women offer it here, but it's not. It's not. It's nothing to what it's. To compare to what it is in the US, because I'm well, fortunate here in Australia, pay for play is, is legal. So why would you give a woman money for nothing? I mean, if you're going to give a woman money, um, I want something in return, i.e., sex. Um, I mean, this OF stuff is OF stuff's just crazy. I remember on one of Inkwell TV's last videos before he took that channel down and started his new channel, The Rehab Room. There was an American lady, an OF content creator, beautiful woman, stunning woman, bordering a 10 out of 10, blonde hair, blue eyes, beautiful, big round bum, big boobs. She was fucking hot. And she was charging 400 US dollars just for guys to talk to her. I mean, this woman is a multi-millionaire. I mean, I think she she bought herself a brand new Ferrari and she bought a house and, um, yeah, she's just laughing all the way to the bank based on dumb simps. I mean, she charged four hundred dollars just to talk to her. Like, piss off. You know? um, and my attitude is either fuck me or fuck off. Like, you know. Like, and uh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of a lot of simps in the U.S. There's. I mean, look. To be fair, obviously, sex work is illegal over there, and you're taking a big risk because I know the in some U.S. states the police run stings to catch unsuspecting Johns. We here in Australia we call them punters. And, um, yeah, it's, it's it's tough over there. I really feel for you guys in the U.S. The level of sexual frustration must be through the roof. Through the roof. Um, I just hope one day the U.S. comes to its senses, uses a bit of good old-fashioned common sense and just legalise sex work. It'll solve a ton of problems. Look, 
It's been legal here in Australia for a while. But look, even when it was illegal, the cops didn't give a shit. I mean, our, particularly my home state here in New South Wales, our cops are pretty chill. Um, not the case in America, though. I mean, your cops are, your, your cops are they're bad news over there. Um, yeah, so my, my thoughts on sex dolls, robots, robots, only fans in AI women. Um, not the answer. Not the answer. I think really the um, the better solution is for just, or particularly in the US, just to legalise sex work. At least that way, men are dealing with, you know, they're um, they're interacting with a real woman because it's not just about the sex. I mean, as I've said before, you know, I have great conversations with the ladies that, of the night that I that I see. I mean, yeah, they give me very good, passionate, very fulfilling sex. But they're also human beings, and they're, they're great to get along with and great to talk to. So I think that's the better option, not not these these, these stupid sex dolls, robots, only fans, and AI women. That's that's going to have a very detrimental effect on on the mental health of men. It really it really will. It really will. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening to my video. Um, if you'd like to leave your likes, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon. You guys have a great day. Bye for now.